And by the way, you know how people say, oh, I want to get the negative people out of my life. <laughs> Bulletin, the negative people want to get the positive people out of their life. <laughs> See, so I can out positive any negative person because I'm not going to let them take me down. Knock me down, but you cannot keep me down. And so I have to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. And now we have a pause to welcome in a new person. But let me, because we've got to a couple of more slides. But it's, let, I just want to define that term negative people for you for a second. And the fact is that negative people are not necessarily bad people. Negative people could be wonderful people in your life, but they have their best interest at heart because they think what, they know what you should be doing. See, so the negativity, when you say you have a negative person, the negativity is actually how I feel when I'm with that person. It's not about the person at all. It's about me. So, it's, so when you get that phone call, oh, God, it's them calling again. See, that's a negative person, even though they might not be a bad person. But it's just somebody that's always telling you what you should be doing. See, so they're giving you a negative feeling. So, so don't just think that you got to get rid of bad people. You may have to get rid of good people, quote unquote, in your life. People that, you know, family, you know, oh, blood is thicker than water. Yeah, but you can't drink blood. Sometimes you have to let your family members go. Sometimes you have to let the, the, the closest people to you go. Because I say maybe if you're not good at cutting people loose, put them on pause. Learn to put them on pause first. And put them on pause is easy. You got a cell phone, you got to call ID. So when they call, why is it, oh, it's them again, hello. How about, oh, it's them again. Voicemail. <laughs> put them on pause. Deny instant access to you. See, they had instant, whenever they call, you answer. That's you jumping because they're calling. They no longer have that, op that opportunity, and they no longer have that, that option or right. That's on you. If you don't send that message to them, you can't, you can't blame them for continuing the call because you haven't stopped the call. Because I got somebody, a good friend of mine, good friend, put him on pause. Here's the mental thing I do with it. When he calls, I let it go to voicemail. When I check the voicemail, you know, just checking in, that didn't say call me back. So I don't call him back. Next time he calls, let him go to voicemail again. <laughs> now I'm the voicemail, you know, call me when you get a chance. Well, now I'm, now I'm returning his call, but I'm not calling him. Because it's about me. It's about how I want to look at it, so therefore I don't put myself in a negative situation. Because I don't, I don't sign people up who make me feel bad or make me step out of who I am. 